Perhaps the most important achievement of all generations of Xiaomi Mi Band is that they made it so that fitness bracelets keys to be exotic and massive. Another thing is that in terms of functionality, they are practical. But what really new can Xiaomi Mi Band 7 offer? Hi, it's Ozien, and before I start, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Let's discuss the news. It is possible that we will be able to judge this in May 10th. A message came that the production of Xiaomi Mi Band 7 has already started, and the company is ready to present a new generation of branded fitness bracelet. Recall that the previously well-known network insider Digital Chat Station said that the announcement of Xiaomi Mi Band 7 was supposed to take place earlier, but the pandemic and the quarantine restrictions forced the company to postpone the release of the wearable gadget. According to preliminary information, Xiaomi Mi Band 7 will be available in two versions, with and without NFC support. The fitness bracelet will offer 1.56-inch AMOLED screen with resolution of 490 to 192 pixels, a 250 mAh battery and possibly a blood oxygen level sensor. However, we will for sure get more details in this regard in the few upcoming weeks. Mi Fit is a well-known application for those who use Xiaomi Mi Band fitness bracelet, but its days are numbered. It has already been replaced by Zap Life on Google Play. More precisely, at the moment it has not been replaced but renamed. But soon everything could change. Zap OS is a software platform for MS Fit wearables by Huami Production. It is Huami who is behind the development of the Mi Band, so the renaming of Mi Fit to Zap Life is not surprising. On the other hand, this may indicate that the new Xiaomi fitness bracelet, Mi Band 7, will also move to Zap OS. Actually, this was available in the previous leak about Mi Band 7 in early March. So far, there is nothing fundamentally new in Zap Life. It is, in fact, the same Mi Fit application, but with a new name and different icon. The transition to Zap Life occurs automatically with the Mi Fit update. Instead of Mi Fit 5.6.0, the users immediately received Zap Life 6.0.0. However, by the time the Mi Band 7 launches, the application may change dramatically. The developers have a few more months for this. The Mi Band ticks most boxes for those after a basic fitness tracker that won't break the bank. You won't find the bells and whistles of Garmin or Fitbit, but you do get a lot. This includes the steps, distance, calories, stress, heart rate, blood oxygen, sleep, female health tracking, activity and more. So expect Generation 7 to come with all of this and more. Of course, the quality of statistics should be improved as the next device will come with the latest tech on offer and improved algorithms. Xiaomi has been improving the accuracy and breadth of its starts. For example, Gen 6 brings sleep breast quality through the CPO2 sensor. Heart rate monitoring has benefited from improvements in recent years, but this still has a room for improvement, particularly during high-intensive exercise. Improvements in the accuracy of sleep tracking would also be welcome. An altimeter remains one of the obvious omissions. This is used to calculate floors climbed. I hope to finally see this in 2022 iteration. Another possibility could be built-in GPS. The current generation relies on your smartphone satellite signal for this. So if you are doing a run outside and want detailed maps of your exercise and accurate stats, you need to have your smartphone with you, which is not ideal. One route Xiaomi could go down is to introduce a version with GPS and version without. Not everyone needs a built-in GPS and there is no reason for them to be paying for tags they won't use. The above-mentioned leak from Magical Unicorn does mention references in the code that refer to built-in GPS. Perhaps the two versions of the fitness band that are mentioned are one with and one without built-in in GPS. And my today's question is, have you ever used Xiaomi's smart bracelet? Are you considering upgrading to Mi Band 7? Your answers, as always, you can leave in the comment section below. I will definitely read everything and I will answer the most interesting comments and give hearts from the channel. If this video seems interesting to you, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. You were watching OZN and I'll see you guys in the next one.